My art involves art and technology. It takes advantage of the fact that I do have some technical background when I was an engineer and um, allows my artwork to be more interactive with the help of technology. While I was in California, I, I was confused of why, you know, we're in the sunny area, why aren't there solar panels on every single roof in this town? And they said, well, you know, they don't look good. And I thought, well, that's kind of a silly answer because, you know, there's artists in this world who sculpt things. Why can't we just sculpt a solar art pieces? And so my first electronic sculpture was a solar tree. There's two charrette courses. One is about the self and other, and one is about community. So we did some exercises about working with community members. The self and other is more about kind of learning about yourself and how you might relate to others. I took more of the um, self-discovery uh, method and learning about you know, your peers and other people in the community. And ultimately we create a kind of art solution to, to that problem. The lesson I want them to take from any class that they take from me or from other professors is that um, they need to learn how to research on their own because they're not always going to be at the school. They're going to have to graduate and start doing art on their, on their own and things are going to change always. And I think if they can adapt on their own, that I think they'll succeed. When students come here, they should think about realizing that now that they are here, that they are artists and that as artists, you have ideas inside you that need to come out and that you shouldn't wait for me or any professor to tell you this is what you need to do and that's kind of what we try to do in our foundation year. I teach them that it's okay for them to think of crazy ideas or serious ideas that they don't have to wait for our approval and say is this idea good enough um, because what we'll say is I don't know try it. <laughs>